Uh, we'll start with questions for Kelsey. Uh, Tony, fire away. Kelsey, you guys had it within one pretty late in that fourth quarter. What did you see was kind of the difference in this game down the stretch? Uh, obviously, we, we, we see ourselves winning. Um, unfortunately, you know, we let a lose rebound go and it kind of bonded us up for a while. But um, I'm proud of our team because, I mean, we're different now. And I think now we know what it takes to win. And I think at the end of the day, we give everything we got for 40 minutes. Art had 17 points in the first quarter, your first time going against her. What did you think of the way she played and what she was able to do? Uh, I think that people, uh, elite guards like her, once you see one go in, the hula hoop gets bigger and bigger and bigger. So you have to be mindful of um, personnel, her tendencies, um, what she brings to the table for her team, um, and be on that early instead of waiting until third or fourth quarter to kind of be on it. Um, and that's, that's not one person job on our team, that's five people. Um, we got to be better tuned in to the start. Alana played for you guys for the first time today yeah. this season. What do you think of how she was able to help you guys and kind of change what you were able to do? Um, I think I think Lay blended in, blended in perfectly. Um, run the floor, um, agile big, um, really, you know, responsible as far as what she needs to do um, at the five at the five spot. And she's easy to talk to, so great communicator. Um, she fell right in with us. I know I talked to her about taking last year off to focus on her mental health. Um, yeah. Her to come right back in and get a steal right away, get a layup. What that did for her confidence? Um, it's a big deal. It, it doesn't just start with her making a layup, but it starts with us and our culture and making sure that we welcome her with open arms, making sure that she feels comfortable. Um, and I think because of that, she was able to, you know, step right in and do what she needed to do. And then for you specifically, um, you know, you got it going again. And, yeah. Guess what do you... <laughs> I'll start. <laughs> so, I guess what's... What's the mindset when you know like you got to bring it? You be expected to be that productive. Uh, I'm learning. I would say that's a challenge to always bring it every game as far as like my mentality and make sure there's no drop off. Um, it's unfortunate sometimes because I, I love, it's all everything for me is between my ears. It's seven inches as far as my mental. Um, but I know what I need to do for my team and what I need to do for myself. Um, so it's kind of on me. It kind it kind of falls on my shoulders to make to make sure that I'm always doing what I need to do for uh, my team. Obviously, we've seen uh, Liz go down, but before that, how do you think she handled the, obviously, the number one number two? It's kind of yeah. you know, something that follows her for the rest of her career. Yeah. First time I was just staying within herself and doing what she does best, which looked like the hand Yeah, she's she a true professional. Um, she played both sides of the floor. Um, this is, you know, she she has it all. She's a jack of all trades, and um, the way she responded tonight was perfect. Um, I mean, if I could give her any advice, I would try not to get into the number one and number two and just focus on, you know, what she brings to the table, which is everything and what she needs to do for us. Kelsey, I know we're just five games in. You've got much bigger personal goals than anything you could accomplish in only yeah. five games. But um, how fulfilling is it for you after having the back half of the season that you did last year to be able to follow that up and play as well as you have been here to start the season? Uh, I guess it's, it's like a sour patch. It's sour and sweet because it's like you want to win as much as possible. I'm um, gonna put put ourselves in a position to be in those conversations. That's what we're here for. Um, we land brick by brick, and that's the foundation that we're laying. Um, so at the end of the day, like although like you want personal stuff for yourself, um, it's more about what the team needs. And so um, going forward, you just want to win as much as possible. Like that's our focus. And I know that's the goal, and that it's a professional. You're a professional athlete. Winning is always the goal. But yeah. can you kind of compartmentalize where you guys are? big picture here. I mean, all five games you played in a bit competitive. You yeah. had a chance to win all five of these. I mean, it. there does feel like there's tangible improvement even in games that you don't get like today. Uh, I think like where we are now, it's like the improvement is crazy. Who would have who would have known it'd take this to training camp in five games? Um, you would expect this to take way longer than that. And I think the way we responded as far as the rookies, the vets, and then we got our OG over here. I think we've all responded to everything pretty well, um, coaches included. So um, for us, you know, there's no barriers on us. So going forward, you know, there, there won't be any drop off as far as like, what we need to bring to the table. So it feels good to improve immediately. Um, that just set the bar really high, though. So now we got a high standard. So we got to stick to that standard all the time now. Yeah, okay. there in the third quarter, you guys gave up a bit of a run, went down double yeah. digits, but then came right back and uh, made it a one point game there. Was there any sort of conversation there, or, uh, you know, how were you guys able to? not get dejected and fight back and uh, make it a close game? Uh, me personally, I think back to 6-26 and 26 for the last, you know, two years and just losing. Um, but as a group, anything big picture, um, we got people like we got people like a vet um, that tells us we got to stay with it, stick with it. And we got people like um, Coach Marianne telling us that's, 
it's gonna always be a game of runs and our, our run came and we took it and we ran with it. Zion got anything for Kelsey? Yeah, because you guys have all shot well from three as a team, but as far as two pointers go today, you guys shot under 50% from inside. So what what goes into kind of getting those easier shots to go? Uh been a little bit more patient offensively, hitting both sides of the floor. Um, you know, specifically, you know, waiting, waiting to be a little bit more patient as far as um things that are specific that we need to hit. Um obviously getting the ball into the post, but more more importantly, being aggressive, making sure we hitting that paint, um, guards and posts all together. All good. Thank you, Kelsey. Thank you.